good y'all we came out with the third video from the page of genuine individual manifesto tgvm we sitting here with my boy mac man about change and uh you know got another artist here you know kind of like the cruise Kodos <coughs> interview so <coughs> mac tell us a little bit about yourself uh i've been doing music now since uh what about 05 06 um, really just, uh, last few, last few years went over to the gospel side, um, cause I changed my life and changed up some things about me, you know, so, um, yeah, we've been pretty much grinded out on the music side since then, so. Cool. So <coughs> one question I have for you about your music, how has it you know, went to the next level since now that you converted over to, you know, Christianity or obviously Christ. You know, how has your music changed from, you know, in O five to now two thousand eleven? Um man, this is a it's a huge difference. Um first off, lyrically, just the the things that I talk about, the subjects that I touch on are a lot different than the subjects that I would have touched on back then when I first started. Um, <clears throat> another thing is like the the purpose. Uh, when I first started doing music, the, pur the purpose was for money. Um, just in in the time of me doing music, uh, I always loved music, but like my love just grew to a whole other level, and um, I just care for it more now. And I just pay more attention to detail. So. Um, the, the things that I talk about, the, the ways that I would write songs, and um, just the ways that I would flow, and every, everything is basically a total 360 from the way I, that I used to rap. I feel, I feel I'm way better now than I was back then. How would you analyze it <coughs> back then as a, as a lyricist or a you know, musician or whatnot? Um, now, this is before you were saved, right? Yeah, this was before I was saved. Um, you were in the world. So how was you? How was your music team? You were in the, in the world. I mean, I can't say one thing. Like right? compared to these guys today, I was still, I was still good. You know, I'm still good compared to them. But um, I really wasn't talking about nothing. I really wasn't talking about nothing. When you when you break it down, I was talking about just about everything that they talk about. It was just I felt I was doing it in a better way. I was I had more lyrical content than them. That's how I felt. Uh, I had more style, more swag, whatever, quote unquote. <laughs> um, but that was about it. I didn't feel. I don't know. I just I'm just more comfortable with what I'm doing now. I I feel a lot better. I can I can give a CD my music to my mom and be like, listen to this and. You know, not feel like ugh, you know, she ain't like that. Right. You know. <laughs> so cool. So, um, what are you trying to do now in your music as far as, you know, the gospel rap was concerned? Um I'm trying to uh trying to touch more people. Um, that's my whole vision in doing music, just to touch people, to try and touch people's hearts with songs, and um, hopefully get to get them to come close to God um, through music. Um, <coughs> in my belief, like music is, is is something that everybody can relate to. Like even if it's not your genre, you can find some that's in that genre, you know, that you might like. Like me for me for example, I don't particularly care for rock music, but I found some songs in rock that I, I actually like. So I feel like you know music has a, a deeper effect on people, and it could it could do a lot of things to you if it if you let it. You know, so that's that's my goal to actually help change the world and change people in a positive way through music. So that's my goal. How do you feel about music today? <clears throat> the way I feel about music today, I feel like, to be 110% honest, 
ninety percent of the music today sucks. That's how I feel. Uh, I feel like people don't people don't take the care in music that they should. I feel like people, a, lot, a lot of these artists don't love music. They just like to make money. That's how I feel. I, you can tell the difference from an artist that loves to do music and an artist that loves to make money because you're gonna you're gonna see the difference. Um, they water it down songs. It's not it's not about the quality. It's about the quantity now. It's it's a lot of things that I don't agree with. A lot of y'all favorite rappers, I think, is okay. You know, I, that's just my personal opinion. Um, lyrical content, you know, people misconstrue lyrical content in my eyes. Um, it's it's a lot of things. I just don't. I don't really like the state of music today. That's just my personal opinion. So, <coughs> okay, let's get into it. Like, how do you see, you know? The spirit of God into your music. Um. Well, I I do try to put you know word into my music. Um, you know, it's the Bible. I do try to put scripture into my music. But at the same time, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing the work of God if I'm if I'm touching on issues that that tend to the people that touch the heart. Um, like. Uh, working on a song called The Power of Jealousy. Jealousy is one of those things that you shouldn't be. So, you know, I feel like it, by, in doing that song, I'm still doing the work of God. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just subjects. Different subjects that I think God would would be happy for me to talk about. That's how I, that's how I feel. I incorporate that into everything. I incorporate my love into everything, so love, God is love, so. So <coughs> you say that that uh, through music, this is a, like almost like a different type of connection with God, and that you can, you know spread, you know not, you know, I wouldn't say a new message, but um, let's see, I say you guess. A different, a different type of message than what you know mainstream artists are projecting out. Like, let's see, like some of your influences. Are there, are there any influences in, in the rap game that you know that you that influence you right now? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of um, secular rappers that do interest that do that like, inspire me. Like um, uh, Eminem. Uh, it's been all the slaughterhouse. Um, you know, um, Lupe Fiasco is a big one. Um, um, Common Nine. Just all. I I like lyricists. I love lyricists. Like if you can put together words and you can talk about something, that's that's uh, my my homie Jim Stone. Shout out to Jim Stone. Um, I just feel like. <coughs> Perfect example. Eminem, in my eyes, has actually gotten better. He was already considered one of the best rappers, and then he got better. So that's what I aspire to do. I aspire to always get better in making music, making songs for a guy. Like um, I'm not saying everybody that know me know me. You know I say this. If it's not if it's not good, and I'm doing it for God, I'm not gonna put it out. He's not gonna hear me. Mm -hmm. Point blank. That's why I'm saying so. So, uh, let's see. How, now, how can you, how, now how can these same people who are secular, you know, secular artists, how can they, you know, inspire you in the sense where you do gospel? Since they do two different types of music, you know, they're talking about all different types of stuff. Um. It's still music at the end of the day. Um, even though it's not gospel, I do understand that, but it's music, and I, re I respect that. I respect that talent. Mm -hmm. So you know, even though they don't necessarily do gospel, they still inspire me to just keep working at it, to keep going at it, because 
Uh, who knows? Like, you know, it's a uh, it's frowned upon if you are a gospel artist and you work with a secular artist. Yeah. But I don't think that should be so because what if Jesus was a rapper? And what if Jesus worked with a secular rapper? You gonna tell him he can't? <laughs> That's a good point. I'm I'm just saying you supposed to as a Christian you're supposed to show the love of Christ to everybody. Exactly. No matter the creed, color, what. So Am I wrong if I go ahead and do a, a gospel song with 50 Cent? And you know, he's actually talking about something positive. He actually said some things that can touch your heart that, that helped you change. Am I wrong for that? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't think so in my eyes. People are people. Everybody's people. Nobody's perfect. I'm not going to judge nobody's judge. Okay. We're going to go into a different direction. <coughs> You know, a deeper question. Let's say I walk up to you. I, I, I don't know what a contract is for a rapper, but let's just say a million, just throw a number out there. A million. You're Mac, man about change. You know, you want to change the whole rap game and the messages that's projected and all. Yeah, I think it's cool, but, you know, I give you only so much control over your own lyrics and what you're projecting now. I want to get the people what they want, you know, gun talk, game band. <laughs> all your club drinking, all that booty clapping, whatever you want to say. Whatever. That's what I want you to do. But I got a cold million right here. <laughs> so, in your eyes, you know, I guess you can say, or I guess you can say, I'm, I'm trying to take a part of you away. Like basically, your soul. What you want to do. Mm -hmm. The message you're trying to project. How would you respond to that? The signing that contract on that dotted line. Putting your name on that dotted line. How would you respond to that? I'm not signing that contract. You're lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not signing that contract because, man, you you mess with people's music, you mess with them. And you you tell me, look, um, I don't think I like what you said in that song. You know, I don't even think I like the whole message of the song. You should go back and change. It. No, that's me. I, that's that's me. That's my feelings. So you, like you come in, you try to rearrange my music. You try to rearrange me. You can't do that. <clears throat> like I, I refuse to take a deal like any any type of deal that's not giving me full creative control. I refuse to take. I'm okay. I'm out here doing this for free now. I keep doing it for free until somebody else knows. Okay, but does that even exist to have free a total control over your own music? Does that exist in this world in it the does. mainstream? I mean, world? it does exist. It's just if you're patient enough to wait for it. What artists do you know of that has complete control over their lyrics I, and the way they're projected and marketed? I haven't really looked at it, but it's something that I believe. Uh, Big Crate is one of them that I believe has uh, full creative control. He's on Island, Island Dep Uh I don't know if you heard his mixtape, but he talks about everything from women to friend and soul, from this sub, like he talks about a broad range of subjects. I think um, Kendrick Lamar has free creative control too. But then again, he might be on his own label, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, I mean, this ways around it. I just refuse to to bow and, <laughs> and give them power over me. So, do you think it's true with all the talk of, you know, selling souls just to get on? Do you believe all in all that? 110% yes, I do. Mean. If, if we can live for God, they can live for the devil. I, I think that's true. And it's kind of undeniable when people keep saying it in their songs. So it's like, if, if a rapper is always screaming, I'm real, I'm honest, I'm real, I ain't never lied about nothing in my song, and I come out and say I sold my soul, do you think he lied? Has anyone said that? It? Huh? Who said that? Did anyone say that? Or? Wayne said it. Kanye said it, Eminem said it. I guess a lot of rappers that said it, you know. Surprisingly, 50 Cent was one was one of the people that uh, I'm said he was like I'm down to sell records, but not my soul. That was that was a surprise to me. But well, was he telling the truth? That's a good question. Okay. okay. So, at the end of the day, where do you want to go with your music? You know, where do you want to go? Where do you want to see some like, 
you know, not even just, when I say, you know, because my focus is not really your music. Where do you want to go with, you know, in your journey with the walk with God? Where do you want to go with God and your music? I really want to change the world and make it a better place. Um, I want to change people's outlooks on things. I, I want people to look at things differently. I want to bring, to bring back the love and bring back the soul in music. And I want to bring back the love and bring back the soul in people. It's like, uh, people just don't care anymore in my eyes. Like, it's a lot of things that go on and, uh, people are just like, man, I don't, I don't care. As long as I get my check at the end of the week. Mm-hmm. And that like I'm a di- I'm a different type of person moral. Like I d- I can't sit down and just watch things happen to certain people and not do anything about it. You know, um, I feel like it's it's supposed to be some leaders up in this generation, and nobody wants to stand up. Everybody would rather sit down and be spectators than stand up and be a player. You know. I'm one of the people that's voting to stand up and be the player. So I want to change the world through my music and do any way that God would let me. Mm-hmm. All right. So, and one more question. So, here's some advice to some young lyricists out there, young people. No, you know, not, not just so lyricists, but some people out there, you know, who want more so God in their life. Um. Stay focused, pray, keep God first. Um, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Like, no matter what it is. Um, I used to be a Muslim before I became a Christian. Um, can't say your name. Yeah. <laughs> so don't don't let anybody discourage you, stop you, or tell you you can't do anything. Because you can do anything. The price you strengthen you. I believe that as long as, as long as you believe it, you can do it. That is, that's my biggest advice. And don't be out here rapping like Waka. I'm sorry. PSA, public service don't, don't be out here rapping like Waka, Gucci, uh, Soulja Boy, Lil B. No, no, lyrical content is where it's at. Or actually talk about something, have subject matter, make songs that make a difference. If you be like every. If you be like everything else, everything else, how can you stand out? Well, in saying that, man, give them a little something, you know, an example of how to spit. You know what I'm saying? Get them something, man. Get them. Get them. Alright. Um, change up. People hating because I changed up. I ain't the same song you looking at a save one, game one. Yeah, it's final time. I won't stop until my position is finalized. Bring y'all truth. I ain't here to fool y'all. Tell me I'm under cook. Got some too raw. Oh, I'm just trying to bring you new things. And that's your more change in the mood ring. Come on, son. On my head, lover. My words tend to leave the weapons. Call me Danny Glover. I'm out here searching for the truth because it pays to discover. Realize I don't play the game like the others. Keep it cool like the transition for something to fall on a mission to make a difference, but I pray that they'll never fall. I ain't done till God say I'm done. See me shining on cold like the one the sun. I'm just having fun letting the Lord have his way. I took my hands off and let God take it away. It's no time to play. Just time to pray because everything you see is because of his amazing grace. I ain't trying to save face. I'm just trying to save souls. Don't inquire about mine and never be so. I'm worth my weight and go. Matter of fact, double that. Matter of fact, bring it back. No price could ever match double back. Told me that I couldn't do it. Told me to give it up. And told me I was foolish. But look at me now. Same and deliver. Still got swag that's cooler than me a winner. Still spit flows to make the enemy shiver. In God and I'm standing strong like a pillar. Got a mind for advancement. I've never been stiller because the things I'm bringing everybody can't deliver. Just remember who you are and where you came from. That everybody rolled into the same one. See the devil trying to snatch up soul, Shane Song. But you can call him up and tell him I'm on one. I answer the call on the mission of God's son, and I'm no one there finished. Indeed, I'm not done. And calling me Neo, telling me I'm the one. I can change the game because I'm the same one that changed up. And pay third letter, I don't want to get better. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you both be spit. Uh, you know, that's the conclusion, y'all. You know what <laughs> He killed it. Um, yeah, man, just be on the lookout for you know more videos, you know more talent that we want to bring out. You know, put some more names out there, man. You know, 
stay focused, yo, and God bless. Holla, y'all.